this is a time of the year that bears are moving, okay? Uh -huh. And before we go anywhere, I'd like to make a little something-something for force protection. You really think these little black bears are a problem, huh? These bears here can get up to 400 pounds, so I at least want something in my hand. Matt and I are smack dab in the middle of black bear country. I'm all about force protection. I'm gonna make a down and dirty spear, and that's the end of it. I'd rather have the need than need not have, and that's okay. the way I've lived my whole life, so it's... All right. Yeah, it's I, just... I won't argue with that. Okay. I don't think we need a spear, but if Joe wants to take the time to sharpen a stick, he's got a big toothpick to fight with, I can't complain about that. It's better than nothing, you know what I'm saying? We could probably quickly fire harden it, too, if you want to do that. You get a nice point on there. How are we going to fire harden it without a fire? With friction. So we'll basically create a fire right on the tip just by rubbing it on another log. Now it'll compress all the saps. No kidding. Make it really hard. Dude, totally down for that. I've been teaching hunter-gatherer classes for a long time. And we use this technique a lot to harden points. You rub it on a log just like the fire plow and start smoking and you're rotating it. And it gets that hard point that'll just slip through flesh if need be. There's a lot of moisture in both, but eventually it's gonna peel off. Fire hardening a tip of a spear like this, basically rubbing it to the point where you're creating tempered heat, and that condenses the saps, the sugar in there. You've got this rock solid point. Yeah, sick luck. Oh yeah. I like that technique, man. It's very simple and quick, down yeah, and dirty. Definitely. <laughs> 